We have more on the presidential race where illegal immigration has become an important issue. Just listen to what some of the Republican candidates are currently saying. They're coming here because there is a magnet and the magnet is called jobs. And those people that hire illegals ought to be penalized. I will build the fence. I will enforce English as the official language of the United States government. When I'm in charge of the fence, we're going to have a fence. It's going to be 20 feet high. It's going to have barbed wire on the top. It's going to be electrocuted, electrified. And there's going to be a sign on the other side that says it will kill you. However, other officials are bucking this anti-immigrant trend. One of them is Mayor Gary Leitzel of Dayton, Ohio, which just started a program called Welcome Dayton to Support Legal Immigrants. Mr. Mayor, good morning to you. Good morning, Chris. I just want to make a clear distinction here. You're welcoming legal immigrants, not illegal immigration. And just exactly, just if you can, just give me a brief overview. What is this Welcome Dayton plan? Well, uh, we have a bunch of uh, legal immigrants here from Russia. There are Hishka Turks, and we've got over 300 families that are fixing up houses and working and, uh, I guess, revitalizing communities. And we actually wanted, uh, we, we developed this program around helping them, but we also found out that we had people from Nigeria, Somalia, Rwanda, Korea, the Philippines here as well as Hispanics. And we just basically concluded that since they are two times more likely to succeed, at uh, small business that we ought to reach out and facilitate their success here. And, and what has been the response in your community so far? Actually, locally, the response has been very receptive. The people here in Dayton uh, think it's a, a brilliant idea. But there has been some resistance. You say locally it's been accepted. Has it not been accepted on the, uh, on the further outskirts, places like Cleveland, let's say? Well, yeah, we, we have some people from Lake County that have come here in opposition, and, and I think one person from uh, Columbus came by. He wasn't really in opposition. He was uh, sort of neutral but cautious. Okay, so your unemployment rate is at 11%, which is about you know, two ticks higher than the national average right now. What, what was it about, of all the ways to bring that unemployment number down for your area, what was it about this plan that made you come to this point and say, I think this is going to work? Well, uh, <clears throat> the reality is, you know, I grew up in England. I spent 12 and a half years there. And when I came over in 1982, though I'm an American citizen, I, I had, uh, you know, a, a suitcase, a backpack, $600, and the American dream in my head. And uh, back in the 80s, someone told me, if you want to get rich in America, back any immigrant off the boat in any, in any job prospect that they want, and they'll make you rich. And the reality is, these people come here with the idea that there's opportunity in America. And they're, again, they're entrepreneurial, they're opportunists, they work together. And rather than get 1,000 people here working for one company, if we could bring 1,000 people here who are entrepreneurs, we would have five or 6,000 people employed in about 10 years uh, because they'll be working for them. It, it's just, um, I mean, I'm just looking back to the past and saying, hey, this is what happened at the beginning of the 1900s, why don't, we, why don't we look back and make it successful again? And like I mentioned before, to make the distinction, you're welcoming legal immigrants. You're also going to have some illegal uh, immigration issues here as well. And what are you doing to try to combat that? Um, and as far as uh, your proper identification, things along the, those lines, is that something you're incorporating here? Well, we're looking into uh, a citizen ID uh, concept that other cities have done just so people can get bank accounts. Um, Again, here in Dayton, we really don't have a major illegal immigrant problem. And uh, but I, would I you see, but could you see a program? Could you see a program like this potentially leading to that? And I think that's probably what has some people a little bit up in arms. Correct? No, no. I, 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 the whole thing is geared towards citizenship. I mean, we, we want to facilitate success and citizenship with anyone, uh, whether they're here legally or illegally. And uh, I mean, the federal laws still apply here in Dayton. Great. Mayor, thank you very much for taking the time. We wish you the best, and uh, again, good talking with you.